Hi guys, uh, this is uh, going to be a review for the Mr. Heater 30,000 um, to 60,000 BTU propane heater uh, with um, um, quiet technology. Uh, this is it right here. It's not really much. It has a fan on the back here. It has a. This is the cord. Um, this is probably the only negative that, that I see with this is that the cord is so short. I mean, it looks like it's maybe, I don't know, six inches. Um, it comes with a 10 foot um, hose though, which you can see right here. Mine's is curled up because I actually keep it in a bag and it's cold in the garage, which I'll show you the temperature shortly. And this is pretty much what it looks like on uh, the inside. So when this is on and I've had it running I've been in the garage working at times for like seven hours eight hours and this never gets hot you can actually touch it on the, the outside at any time of course when up here you can't touch it because this is where the heat comes out at um, it has a nice handle it's built very well this one I've had for about two years now and um, with the cold weather I wanted to have something to heat the garage so we have um, two propane tanks what I found is is that when I could be working out here and there have been times when I wasn't to come out the next day and do some work I didn't have enough propane to finish my job and that's like when it's really cold outside you want to finish something it's really hard trying to do it in the cold so I bought a second propane tank this year this valve right here this did not come with it I had to buy this here um, and what it's supposed to do is supposed to kind of give you an idea of how much propane is left in the actual tank it works okay you know it's not a hundred percent but it will give you an idea when it starts to get low our tanks are only filled to 80%. Um, I get them filled at U-Haul, so they only fill at 80%. If I remember right, the specs on this is when you're running on the lowest setting, which is 30,000 BTU, you get 12 hours of continuous uh, usage from a, a full uh, propane tank. Now, full, I don't know if it's meaning that what U-Haul did, meaning they filled the 80% allowing for a certain amount of space for the gas vapors in the tank or if they're talking, you know, basically, um, you know, being five gallons. I'm not sure because actually I think the tank, I think if I remember right, I think it holds like they fill it to four uh, gallons or something like that. So. What I'm going to show you is how uh, it heats up the garage. So right now, you can see the temp is 20 degrees in here. I have not run the heater at all. Have We don't have heat in our garage, which you can see by the walls. Um, there is no insulation. Outside temperature is about 6 degrees. Okay, so that's one. And I'm going to show you the other thermostat which is right here. The reason why I bought this one from in our in our basement. The reason why I bought this one in is because the heater is going to be pretty much in the area where I just left from. So I'm just kind of curious as to the temperature difference. And as you can see, you know, we have a gable roof. So you know that heat rises. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to plug it up. The other thing is is that when you as soon as you plug this in, it turns on. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. You're going to hear a ticking sound, which is normal, and the ticking sound never goes away even once the flame starts. And what I'm going to do is after I turn it on or plug it in, I'm going to open the valve on the propane tank and then I'm going to let it 
uh, open for about 20 seconds. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push this switch here, which ignites the gas. having a hard time trying to do this with one hand all right there we go okay so you see on the inside you see the spark there right okay so it's constantly doing that so I'm gonna turn the valve and I'm gonna turn it all the way on and you see this is a full tank and you can see right there that it hasn't even moved now from what I've recognized in the past is once it starts flowing through because it's like really cold right now um it'll the gauge will start going up but you can kind of see it a little bit right there you can see it kind of going up another thing i noticed because i keep this in the garage and the holes is like really cold for some reason i have to kind of bend the holes kind of straighten it out to make it so that the propane flows through much easier so that the it, it um, comes all the way through here okay so um, I'm, I didn't count but I'm guessing that was about 20 seconds so I'm gonna hold this down I have it on the lowest setting which is right here uh, when you turn it up, that's the highest setting. So I'm having it on the low setting when I start it. Okay, so you see, you see it started, right? And so I'm going to hold it. And there you go. There you have it. So this is on the lowest setting right here. And actually, I'm going to actually put it on the... Um, you know what? Yeah, maybe I'll leave it up. Now I'm gonna put it on the ground because normally I have it on the ground when I'm when I'm using this. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it up. It doesn't have any indication to show you like what's in between here. So this is this is all the way up on sixty uh, thousand BTU. So. Again, thermostat. Oh, I tripped over my cord. Okay, and here's the other one. Okay, so right now, according to my watch, it's 1010. So we'll see how fast, how long it takes for it to get up to 50 degrees in here. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so it's been. 31 minutes and this is where the temperature is it's like 40 degrees on um, this thermostat and this is where I have the heater so I have it in the middle of the garage blowing towards the big door this way okay and so this mom and it has it looks like about maybe 49 degrees so it's about about a almost a 10 degree difference so you know depending on where you actually put it um, you know obviously you want to put it in the area that you're going to be working because you have the full effect and then there you go and you can see it right there it's on the floor and it's on um, high too so it's uh, 60,000 BTU so normally, I have to keep it running when it's this cold outside. I'll back it down as far as temperature once it starts getting to the point where as I'm starting to get a little warm, which is usually around, you know, 50, maybe 60 degrees. Like now, I took off my jacket, my heavy coat, and you know, I'm, I'm comfortable. So all in all, remember, um, with a full propane tank, it normally lasts about 12 hours if it's on the lowest setting. If on the highest setting, it lasts about eight hours. And it's, it's very durable. I have no complaints. 
Um, it's worked very well, heating up our garage and time I'm working in here. Normally I don't have it necessarily pointing in the direction where I'm actually working. Um, you know, but if, if it's one of those days where I'm not going to be in here that long, maybe an hour, I'll have it kind of pointing towards my way. So anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, you guys have a blessed day. Bye, bye now.